Okay, so unfortunately I was unable to use my Waysafe goose ball because it's so high that if I tried to connect it and raise the landing gear higher without blocks underneath, it wouldn't be able to connect over it. So I went ahead and reinstalled my B&W goose ball, which is super nice. And I have the two chain ties right there. A lot of people wonder why you don't cross the chains on the gooseneck. If you do, you're gonna run out of slack on a tight turn. So on a travel trailer, yeah. If you had enough slack with this, you probably could, but I've never really seen anybody that thinks it's required to cross your chains on a gooseneck connection. But we're almost ready. Just gotta back it up, get it underneath, get hitched up, and we're gonna hit the road and take it home. So as you bring it down, because this is an auto latch, the arm will go unlock and then lock back when it's latched in place. So, so you can tell when the holes for the outer pin or whatever are yep. aligned. Yep. So, and that's where I can lock it too. So I can throw a lock inside there. Okay, so we are hooked up and ready to go. We're gonna hit the road, take this from Seguin, Texas, over some really horribly paved and under construction roads down to Corpus Christi, Texas. Should be fun. I like the fact that you guys were crazy with those tires you put on, so we should be in good shape there. We got everything pinned in place. Got my lock on the coupler, so there's no chance that could come off. Another really cool feature of the generation two version of this Reese Goose Box. You probably don't need that, but I have it there. Using my BMW. OEM ball inside along with the chain mounts. Lights are working. Come around to the back. Everything's flashing. We're in good shape. I'm gonna add some air to the airbag and we're gonna take off. This is a good day, she's going home. Okay, so we are back home. The Brookstone is parked in its temporary spot. I actually have a different spot that I'm gonna put this in. So we can load it up with the stuff we unloaded from the Beacon and some of the other more permanent stuff that'll actually you know, be in this unit permanently versus the Beacon, which we only had for six months. So we really didn't put much inside of that specific unit. But this is it, and it is, just like the Beacon, a massive, massive fifth wheel. So, Coming around to the back, we're home. This is it. Guys, come up with some names. What do you guys think? What should we name this specific unit? I don't think we actually named the Beacon, but the Beacon was kind of a temporary thing. In the case of this new fifth wheel, this is our baby. We own this one. So it's gonna be fun to come up with a forever name since this is our new long-term RV that we purchased. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video series. I know it was a lot of videos. We had a lot of information, and you know, I don't really do very long videos typically, typically what, 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes even shorter than that. But we really had a lot to talk about here, and I didn't want to, you know, lack any information in the videos that you guys might want to know, and you know, it doesn't make sense to make just a one minute long video to answer some of those questions. So I kind of felt that even if the videos were a little longer, I wanted them to be more you know packed with knowledge and 
There's a lot of reasons why we opted to go with Brookstone. Believe me, a lot of manufacturers have reached out to me and wanted to work with us and wanted to help come up with a floor plan that we would fall in love with and love. And I had kind of committed to Brookstone from the beginning of this collaboration that as long as they're willing to work with me to come up with something, I'd be willing to try to get that thing to market. And ultimately, you know, a year and a half into this collaboration, my channel's grown significantly. I've, you know, worked with so many other manufacturers and I've tried to give so much information out there. It was really nice to see that the folks at Coachman reached back out to me and said, hey, you know what? Let's build a unit that you really love. Let's build something that you're gonna be happy with and something that you might ultimately wanna buy. So, at the end of the day, this is our Brookstone. Anyways, a lot of good stuff coming soon. Um, we're probably gonna do videos on all sorts of upgrades. I've actually been kind of stockpiling things that the folks over at E-Trailer had sent me as well as some other manufacturers and some things that are gonna go on this unit to get it ready for us to take it out. And we're already planning on taking out in like a week. So we have a lot of plans for this bad boy. I can definitely tell you guys, I've missed the goose box. Man, it was absolutely great. Towed perfectly, very happy with it. Big shout out to the folks over at Reese for providing this goose box for my new fifth wheel. I've had a great relationship with them and I like to believe that the feedback that comes from my channel and my viewers and myself has helped drive innovation into some of these companies because Reese added so many cool features to this after some of the collaborations that we did. Anyways, again, thank you for all the support from all of you all. I love my subscribers, love my viewers. You all are the reason I do this. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, consider subscribing to my channel, giving me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.